Now at six, wouldn't it be super comforting for parents to know where their child's bus is, especially if there's a delay? Oh, you yeah. bet. As a parent, absolutely. But now there is an app for that. It's all part of Broward County Public Schools' new initiative. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn caught up with parents as they tracked their kids' arrival. At the school bus stop in Cooper City, parents arrive around 2 in the afternoon to pick up their little ones. I've been here some time and then get late for 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Not all the time, but some time it do. And then you call the school, they say, okay, the bus is on the way, and the way where? It almost seems like the dark ages when parents had no idea where their kid's bus was. But that was just a few weeks ago. It's coming down Sterling. Now parents with kids in Broward County Public Schools can use the Here Comes the Bus app to track school buses. I think it's great and it was longer with you. Leo Soritz is the proud father of Ileana. What grade are you in? The app helps to give parents a better estimate of when buses might arrive because sometimes they get there early. So you were like a little three minutes behind in getting here. <laughs> exactly, oh, exactly. Okay. And by the time I get here, I got a look. Uh, and you got a look. And <laughs> yes. now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Exactly. Yes. Aren't now you we, happy? we got smiles. Sign up isn't open to just anyone. You must have a student ID number. Once registered, it will confirm when a bus arrives before and after school. It will also send out alerts. Because you never know if it's an accident or something. Yes. But I think it's safety because all this crazy criminal thing is happening. It's, it's make us calm down. You're not like, okay, I know where it is. The app was soft launched to parents a week ago, but this Thursday was the official launch. And so far, parents we talked with said there have been no issues. Now, Miami-Dade County Public Schools had had a similar option available. Their version was launched in 2020. In Cooper City, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.